with all of the different skin care products on the market today, it's hard to know what to buy. Hi, I'm Merlin Olson. And when my skin is dry or cracked or itching, I want a product that works and works fast. And I found one. Stevens Skin Softener Cream. One of the first things that people notice when they meet us is our skin. And you'll never know just how good your skin can look and feel until you try Stevens. Now you're probably saying, hey, what is it that makes this stuff so great? And we're going to tell you. It starts with the ingredients that go into moisturizers and how those ingredients affect your skin. You'll have a chance to meet some experts on our program today. But even more importantly, you'll meet some of the many thousands of people from all different walks of life who already know just how good Stevens products are. In fact, let's meet a few of them now. My legs used to just itch bad, and um, they'd wake me up in the middle of the night, and I tried all other kinds of products, and when I found Stevens, it not only makes my skin really nice and soft, my little grandkids say, Grandma, your hands are soft, <laughs> but on top of that, it completely solved the problem with the itchy skin. As a truck driver, I'm face constantly with dirty hands from grease or other things that hit my hand and on the average I scrub my hands five six times a day and I use this uh, powdered soap which is out of these containers that uh, just totally dry your hands and crack them and especially in the winter time I uh, I'm faced with my fingertips cracking around my fingernails and I couldn't even button my shirts and I spend most of the winter with uh, band-aids around my fingers and when I discovered Stephen Skin Cream, for the last two winters, I haven't been bothered with it at all if I use it faithfully. I use Stephen's Cream because I have basically dry skin, and I have dry skin around my cuticles, and I like to rub it around my cuticles, and around my eye area, and around my face, and my hands and elbows, those are my dry areas, and it seems to make them soft and supple. Hi, and welcome back. You know, we usually associate skin care products with women. But believe me, a man's skin can get just as dry. I'm Merlin Olson. And many of you know, I rarely do commercials. I simply won't endorse a product that I don't believe in. But when the Stevens people approached me, I had no problem because I was already using their cream. And not just me. My wife uses it. My wife's mother uses it. In fact, she's the one who introduced us to Stevens cream. Now my whole family is using it, and I'm recommending it to my friends and to you. Have you ever wondered why we even need skin care products? In general, the skin does a pretty good job of lubricating itself. It does this with glands that produce an oil called sebum. This natural system works very well for some people, but for others, it just doesn't get the job done. As a matter of fact, at times in just about everyone's life, especially as we get older, our lubricating system either gets overloaded or breaks down, and we end up with dry skin. If your skin dries out, there could be a variety of explanations. For instance, your individual physiological makeup, living in a dry climate, excessive exposure to the elements, sunlight, water, and wind, seasonal changes in dry winter air, an occupation that requires you to wash your hands over and over, which removes the skin's natural lubricating oil. Exposing your skin to harmful chemicals or engaging in activities that irritate the surface of the skin, like construction work or gardening. When I was going to school, I worked on construction, and often my hands ended up looking like a piece of raw meat. I'm just sorry Stevens wasn't available in those days. And Stevens would also have been a big help to me in my NFL days when my skin was really taking a beating. I used to play on artificial turf and it would just tear the skin right off of your elbows and your knees. But why is Stevens so effective? What is it about the ingredients in Stevens that makes it superior and unlike any other moisturizer? In a moment, we'll learn the answer to those questions from a professor of clinical pharmacy. Stay with us. My hands are in water not constantly but almost every other minute they're in water of some sort my hands are rough these meat hooks constantly getting nicked they're, they have blisters on them and there's only one thing i grab during the day and at the end of the day and that's my stevens skin cream it is absolutely phenomenal and i really like to use it on his skin it makes him nice and soft and he smells good i had cervical disc surgery a four inch incision was made on my neck and the discs were removed 
and it was a very sensitive scar. It itched quite a bit, and I was very afraid of it scarring up and leaving a disfiguring scar. I started using the skin Stevens on the scar, and it helped with the irritation, and it has helped minimize the scar tissue itself. I'm a pharmacist. I recommend Stephen Creams to all my customers, especially the older people I work with. And it has been working really good for them. And I work, I use also Stephen Creams at home. It works great. Welcome back for Stephen's Skin Softener. I'm Merlin Olson, and joining me is Professor John R. White from Washington State University. Professor White teaches clinical pharmacy and can actually read the ingredient list on the back of some of those skin care products and know what some of those five syllable words mean. Professor, thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. We just kind of ticked through a list of some of the problems that can help develop dry skin in people, and, but there are problems that go well beyond just dry skin, aren't there? Oh, sure. There are many major diseases that can cause dry skin. For example, uh, seborrhea and psoriasis are related with, uh, with very, very dry skin that can, of course, cause many problems. I know that a, a healthy body reflects in a healthy skin. Are there internal disorders that would also show up on the skin as well? Sure. In fact, many internal disorders are, are elicited or shown by the, the appearance of the skin. A good example would be diabetes. So I, I have dry skin or cracked skin or uh, I've got an itching problem. I, I want to find a product that's going to work for me. Give me the short course here, Professor. Talk to me about what kinds of ingredients go into moisturizers. Okay. Most moisturizers that are used today are based on occlusive properties or occlusive nature All right, of... Occlusive. Give me a little help there. Occlusive agents are agents that form a barrier across the skin. The theory is that if you block moisture from leaving the skin, that the skin will be moisturized by virtue of the fact that moisture is not being lost. Now we have some of those hiding back here, we right? We have several of the leading occlusive agents used in the United States today. These two are petroleum-based products, petrolatum and mineral oil. They are highly occlusive. They're very greasy. They stain the clothing. Oh, wow. In individuals that use these products or products that contain mineral oil and petroleum or petrolatum, if the person washes their hands, they'll wash these substances away and will have to reapply them. So you just really, when you wipe that on it, it I, that really, that's that greasy stuff you just keep wiping and finally spreading it out on the skin. Huh? And if you get it on your clothing, it will stain your clothing. Another occlusive agent that's used in the United States is lanolin, and lanolin comes from wool. It's called wool wax. It, uh, it is very occlusive. It's more greasy, if you will, than the products that you've just touched. In fact, I would recommend that you not put your hand in, in the lanolin. Lanolin uh, is derived from wool and is associated with a very high incidence of allergic reaction. So most dermatologists will tell their patients who have had in the past allergic reactions to not ever use a product with lanolin because of the high likelihood that they'll develop an allergic reaction when using the lanolin. Well, now I have read the uh, list on the back of this Steven Skin Softener product. I know we don't have any petrolatum or mineral oil or lanolin, but let's talk about what's actually in this skin softener. Very good. In, in place of using occlusive agents, Stevens uses natural moisturizers, and we'll talk about uh, those, those in just a moment. It also uses water, a form of deionized water. Deionized, that, what kind deionized of Deionized water? water is a special type of water that is, it's the purest form of water you can really, you can get. Other, uh, other substances in the Stevens cream include vitamins, which are, uh, act as moisturizers and may actually uh, act as a form of nutrition for the skin. There's also uh, an emulsifier in there. If emulsifiers weren't added to these natural oils, then what you would have would be a, a two layers of, of, uh, of compounds in the cream, which is not what you want. You want a nice, homogenous, velvety cream, which is what uh, Stevens has produced. In doing so, they've used several naturally occurring oils as moisturizers. Jojoba oil is the major moisturizer. Uh, other moisturizers in Stevens include sweet almond oil, uh, apricot kernel oil, avocado oil, and castor oil. All of these oils act.
to moisturize the skin. They're non-occlusive, they're well absorbed, they're quickly absorbed into the skin, they don't clog the pores, they leave the skin with a, with a velvety feeling rather than that greasy feeling that's commonly encountered. Which with, I still have on yeah. this end. <laughs> so you're telling me, Professor, that, that Stevens Skin Cream will actually carry moisture into the skin? It is a, a moisturizer that takes moisture into the skin rather than acting as a barrier to block moisture from leaving the skin. Stevens is a well-formulated product. It's composed of naturally occurring moisturizers. Those moisturizers are stabilized with the best possible emulsifiers to uh, yield a very high quality moisturizing cream. Professor, thank you very much for giving us the short course and helping us to understand more of what goes into moisturizers. Thank you, Merlin. These same ingredients, by the way, that make Stevens Cream such an excellent moisturizer are found in a wide variety of other Stevens products as well. And let's hear what people have to say about these other Stevens products. We use the soap, we use the, the cream, we use the sunscreen, I use it on my kids, on my husband, the entire family. We love it. It is definitely the best product on the market. The avocado soap is good for skin. I'm 70 years old and uh, I have less wrinkles than I thought I was going to have by using the Stevens avocado soap. Uh, but I do like the antibacterial um, hand pump as well. I feel like that it's more sanitary and when I have my grandchildren in the home, I feel like we're not spreading germs. And when they came out with the baby scent, I loved that, I immediately went to that because of the fragrance and it just it was very gentle and then they came out with the kiwi and so I have a really hard time figuring out which one I want to use. Being a darker person I never thought that sunblock was something that I needed to worry about. I thought it was a problem only for those with fair skin but I listen to the news and I'm aware of the fact that damage to the skin is something that can happen to anyone so I decided to try it. One of the things that most impressed me was that Stevens was greaseless. Um, it had a very nice fresh scent to it and on top of that I didn't need to use a lotion or anything else because it was also moisturizing my skin and kept it really nice and soft. The sunblock, it's been a fantastic product. I put it on right after I uh, shave in the morning and it stays with me all day and I have real light skin that's difficult to deal with when I'm outside. It's been a fantastic product. Welcome back. What I've been learning about the natural compatible ingredients in Stevens Skin Softener Cream is pretty amazing. And one of the primary ingredients is one that I'd never heard of, jojoba oil. With us now is Dr. Carol Whitaker, a PhD chemist and one of the world's foremost experts on jojoba oil. And that's J-O-J-O, -J -O. that's the Spanish uh, pronunciation, doctor. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you very much. It's a real pleasure, Merlin. Where does jojoba oil come from? Uh, jojoba comes from a plant, a native plant that grows in northern Mexico and southern California, southern Arizona. And this shrub produces a seed, and the seed contains about 50% of an oil, a very special, very unique oil called jojoba oil. All right, tell me why it's so special. Jojoba oil is very compatible with the natural lubricating oil that's made by the skin itself. Jojoba oil is effective, it's functional, it's perfectly natural, and it's very safe in the use on the skin. Now, I know how important jojoba is to the Stevens people, Tell me, uh, are there other uh, formulations and other moisturizers out there that are using jojoba oil? To a very limited extent, if at all, particularly in the U.S. market, uh, because jojoba oil has been very, very limited in its supply. Um, you can only obtain a very limited amount from native plants, and we've been in the process over the last few years of learning to grow jojoba on plantations so that we have a, a good supply of it to use in the uh, skin care industry. Well, finding out more about jojoba, we're glad that it's in there in the Stevens <laughs> Skin Softener Cream. You've used uh, Stevens products. Tell me, what do you think about that Skin Softener Cream? Um, I think it's a wonderful product, Merlin. Uh, I mean, I'm very particular. The Stevens product is the first commercial product